Hi everyone, my name is Mike and this is my wife Kendra and we're going to be reviewing some massages for you today. Uh, I am a eBay reseller and uh, these are some of the massages that I've sold over the years and we're going to be reviewing them, uh, giving you uh, the price and then some of their features and what we think of them. So if you're considering uh, buying this type of massager, you can at least have something to go off of before you spend the money. I'm going to start off with the smallest one right here. Um, this is a vintage model. It's Oster Scientific. It's a small one. It uh, weighs about two pounds. And the way that you use it is you put your hand in this uh, where these uh, bungee cords are. And it fits on your hand like so. And then I'll plug it in and we can see how it works. You can see on the back here it's got um, a variable speed switch. So I'm going to try this out on Kendra and see what she thinks. You can use this one yourself too if you want. Um, but we tend, I tend to be the massager and she tends to be the massagee. So we always try these things out to see what we like about them. Well, this, vi this motor vibrates. It's not a super strong massage, but it's the cheapest one. Probably the easiest one to find. This one's in really good condition. So the massage kind of transfers through my hand into her back. So my hand is automatically getting massage on this one, whether you like it or not. It's variable speed, so you can turn it down low if you prefer a little lower. It's not an intense massage. Switches off like that. It's the first one, Oster Scientific Massager. It's kind of a vintage model. Cost you about 30 bucks. What did you think of that one? It was good. It was fine. I like a deeper massage, but that is a nice gentle massage. Okay. So if you prefer a gentle massage, that would be one to try out. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, the next model we'll go for is a little more expensive. Uh, this is a Hometics Percussion Massager. Um, a percussion massager is going to be a much harder massage. <clears throat> so if you um, prefer a harder massage, especially if you're into fitness, a lot of the fitness uh, community uses percussion massagers. This is definitely an uh, a inexpensive model if you want to just give it a try. Hometics makes a lot of these um, different versions of it. They mostly do the same thing. The big difference is if it has heat or not. Uh, this one, you can tell if it needs heat, if it says heat. And then if it has these red um, attachments, these can come off, just twist off. And you can get different versions of it that are softer or harder. Um, but the red ones are the ones that produce heat. It's not intense heat, it's just a mild warmth. Um, if you prefer to have some warmth while you get a massage. This one is, is definitely a heavier one. Uh, let's see, it weighs two pounds, 10 ounces. Uh, in comparison, this one weighs two pounds. This one's almost 10 ounces. This is 10 ounces heavier. But you were saying that you, you like it because uh, this one. it's, yeah, because it. That's yeah, a, deep, a deeper massage and, and then lots you, of knots and tension. And I can use it myself. Because it's got that heavier yeah, it's, weight to it's it. Yeah, it's got a nice weight to it, so it puts a lot of pressure. You can just kind of hang on to it and direct it. I mean, I could push harder with it, but I don't really need to. Because the head's heavier. Yeah. So we'll give this one a try, so you can see how it works. This one's variable as well. I can turn it up or down. And then if I want heat, I just press the heat button and it'll start to warm up. see it kind of bumps up and down it's sending a lot of force 
into the muscle tissue. If you prefer a deeper massage, this is a good, um, good model to try that out on. If you like that deep tissue massage. It's big enough, I can use a second hand on it if you want to apply more pressure easily. So that's the Homotic, Hometics Percussion Massager. What'd you think of that one? I love that one. That's my favorite electric one. Okay. Because of that, you prefer a deeper, yep. deeper massage? Okay. And the heat. I like the heat. So this one's 40 bucks. If you want to try a percussion massager, if you like that deep tissue massage, try the Homedics. The, another one, this one's going to be a really, if you don't want a heavy massager, you like a lighter one. This is a Panasonic Panabrader. Uh, very popular one. It's a little more expensive than those the last two. This one will cost you between $50 and $60 used. It's pretty simple. It just has high and low settings. And it's got a bit of a flexible head in here. So pretty simple, but very popular. A lot of people like this, this model. Obviously you don't need a partner to use this one. It's very light. It's, I think the lightest one, yep. One pound, three ounces. So almost half the weight of this one. So you can use this one yourself. You give it a try? So it's a much lighter massage than the percussion massager or even the poster. So if you prefer a lighter massage, this one this one will do the job. What do you think? It's fine. It's fine. A little lighter. It's lighter. Yeah, it's not as deep. Okay. It does a good job. So these next two are. We'll leave that one. These next two are kind of similar models. Um, they both have the same concept. Um, they are like almost like a uh, a buffer or a belt sander. They're very heavy. They're probably three times as heavy than any of these other ones. These ones would be about over six pounds, just a little bit over six pounds. And you're definitely going to need a partner to help you out unless you're um, using it on your legs. Um, you might be able to use it by yourself. But um, the first one is called a Lumiscope, and this is the first one of this model I've ever found. You can see it's got a, a, a large uh, base, it covers a lot of area. And this is the Genie Rub Massager. And it's metal, whereas this one, this one's metal on top of the casing is plastic. This is kind of a cool retro look. I've, I like this one a little, the look of this one a little bit better. But we'll give them both a try and see what kind of thinks of them. Well, the Lumiscope also has got two speeds, uh, low and a high, whereas the Genie Rub only has one speed. So let's give this one a try. Hold it with two hands, and then it's basically press and move. Oh, better plug it in. Step one, plug it in. There we go. high. This one is a little grabbier on the, the base. It's got kind of a rubberized base. So it has a tendency to grab the fabric a little bit. It's not affecting the comfort though. Yeah. It's so it's a bit of a lighter massage, um, but you're covering a lot of area. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? I like that one. I like this. Like that type of massager? Yeah. It's different from the percussion. It's not hitting knots, but it's just very relaxing. Okay. The back kind of feels like it's flexing. Okay. It's nice. That was the Lumiscope. We're going to try the Genie Rub now. 
I like this one a little bit more. It's a little more intense. And then this, this um, is more of a vinyl and it slides easier across fabric if you have a tendency to use it. Um, if you've got a shirt on, you're gonna wanna, I think I prefer this over the Lumiscope. We'll give it a try. It's only one speed, on off. It's a genie rub massager. I like that one. It moves a lot smoother across the fabric and it feels like it's a little more intense than the Lumiscope. Yeah. So if you like that type of massager, it's like it's easy to move. It's not difficult to use because I can use both hands and that makes it a little easier than if I'm using just a one-handed massager. Those get kind of, you get kind of fatigued and you don't want to massage your partner as long because you're tired. Um, like lifting one of these like this for a while after a while it just kind of gets a little old yeah. but this feels you know you could go for quite a while and that's a problem like i said price wise this is 60 to 80 whereas the lumiscope is more like 50. so if you want to give one of these a try and not spend as much money maybe try one of these um, but if you decide you like that version uh, this is going to cost a little bit more but i I think it's worth the extra 20 bucks. <laughs> Last but not least, this is a, probably our favorite massager. This is a Nikken and N I K K E N Mag Creator. It's got magnets in there, and it's a handheld massager. And it's it's got ball bearings, so this spins. It's got this um, groove in there for your. Sp to go over your spine so you're not rolling across your partner's spine. This one's the most expensive, cost you about a hundred dollars. Um, I can't keep them in stock, people really love them so um, this is actually our personal massager but I thought I'd show it to you. Um, I don't have any in my store right now but um, just if you want to see what it, what you do with it and what kind of thinks of it, give it a try for you. So it's a two-handed massager. So it's got that groove in there so you can roll across the spine without grating across the bones, which can be an issue if, if that wasn't there. And then it kind of has some issues around this area around your um, shoulder blade. And this is nice because you can kind of lean in on an angle and kind of work those knobs across knots and kind of work those knots out of the um, tissue. So really easy to use. Uh, it's a little heavier. Um, let's see. Weighs about two pounds, eight ounces, but it's a two-handed version and it doesn't feel heavy to me at all. It feels pretty comfortable. I'm really, it really depends on how much force I push down onto it. Um, it's a pretty strong massage, I would say. Definitely a stronger massage. Um, you're going to feel it. And depending on how much I push, the more intense it's going to be. So, if you like a real deep tissue massage and you got a partner who, um, however strong they are, they can really um, put a lot of force down into the tissue with this Nikon Mag Creator. It costs you $100, but you got. Um, worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. So, what do you think of it? I love it. Yeah. Good yeah. Uh, I didn't know it existed. I found one, just saw it in the thrift store and picked it up and gave it a try and it's amazing. Yeah. So those are six massagers that I've come across uh, and reviewed for you, for you guys and hope you enjoyed it. Give you some information. I love giving back to the YouTube community because I've learned a lot from people on uh, YouTube. Uh, if you're interested in any of these <clears throat> that I have available in my store, uh, my store name is Two Shoes, number two, S-H-O-O-B-S, and that's 
on eBay. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Appreciate you guys watching my video. Uh, please like and subscribe.